Hey guys, welcome back to this tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to install Feed the Beast Unstable 1.12. I am personally very excited for this mod pack and I hope you guys are too. And also, I hope this tutorial helps you guys. So, let's go straight to it. Um, this is a mod pack made by Feed the Beast and the Feed the Beast team. Um, as you can see, it's their attempt to try to... Uh, Incorporate 1.12 mod packs. Many of the uh, mod pack creators are trying to do that, so uh, I will get into that. Also, if we can get 100 likes on this video, I will make my own custom mod pack. Um, you guys commenting what you want in this mod pack, and I will put whatever you guys say. And you guys can also name the series. So yeah, hit that like button down below. Comment below what mods you want, and let's get that done. And now back to the tutorial. Um, as you can see, I'm using Twitch. It's the Twitch desktop app. It's basically uh, Curse, but Curse and Twitch merge together to form this creation, which is good and bad, but I personally love it. So how do you download Twitch, which is the desktop app? Basically, um, I will have a link in the uh, description below or the, yeah, and you guys could use that, but if that doesn't work, I'll show you how. So you go to your Google, uh, you search the Twitch desktop app, and once you see the link saying app.twitch.tv, that's the one. Uh, it should bring you to the page, and it's a very simple page like this. All you have to do is press download. You could launch in browser, but I would recommend to download. It's very simple. Just follow the steps, um, and it should download real nicely, and you can also choose where you want it to be downloaded. Uh, I also saved it to my taskbar. You can save it to that or your uh, desktop. And then once you open it up, it should kind of look like this. But this is me when I'm logged in. So you can either log in with your Curse account, your Twitch account, or even your Steam account. So I think overall, this is trying to uh, kind of be the platform you want to be on while you're gaming. And as you can see, you can add friends, create communities, and even join calls. I've had a couple of my fans actually contact me. So that's kind of weird, but kind of cool. Uh, they were very like weird kids, but let's ignore that fact. Um, there is a couple tabs. Um, this has been kind of updated, so it looks a lot more different than most of my other tutorials. But as you can see, these are the channels I'm subscribed to or something for Twitch. All these Twitch... Uh, Games are shown here. You can browse through the games you want to watch. Uh, a library is my games. I assume this is for uh, adding more games to it. And over here is mods. Now, Minecraft's over here. If it's not there, it's either you don't have the actual Minecraft, you haven't bought it, you have a fake one, or maybe you have to add it in the settings. So I would go here and go through settings and figure that out. So once you press Minecraft, as you can see, this is a list of all the mod packs I have installed. Um, but what we're looking for is not here. So you'd go through browse all mod packs or browse feed the beast mod packs or create custom profile, which is basically making your own mod packs, which is incredible. I even have an existing one called Wondercraft. So go and get that. That's a pretty fun one with drugs in it. <laughs> uh, so in feed the beast. How do you find it? It should show up right in the very top. But if it doesn't, you can always go through the search bar and type it in. Uh, just feed the beast unstable. And as you can see, people even live, live stream it and things like that. So that's kind of dope. And then down here is the search bar you look for. So unstable. And as you can see, there's multiple unstables. Uh, let me search type that in correctly uh, what we want is the 1.12 you press on that and you press install as you can see the catalog kind of shows what uh, each version does uh, as you can see these are the release there's two betas and an overview basically saying the official bleeding edge testing platform used by feed the beast for their more modern 1.12 packs highly experimental and volatile uh, just a reminder, no tech support will be offered for this pack. So as you can see, this is just a crazy mod pack where you go all ham and just mess around with all the new um, mod packs that you want. And I will let this load. 
And while it does that, I will kind of explore this with you guys. As you can see, you can go through file, edit, view, same old like um, basically Windows stuff. Now Mac users, I think, used to have problem with uh, this, but I think they've solved it now because uh, most Mac users, I think, can get this, which is a very good plus. I will definitely tell my friends. Uh, I actually find this very interesting how before Twitch wasn't too involved, but now Twitch is like a main part of this program. So honestly, you don't need to go on the website anymore. You can just watch stuff through here like GTA 5 and you see who's streaming, which is dope. I might actually try streaming a little bit, but uh, Minecraft, you go here, it's already downloaded. You press play and this is what it'll do. It will launch the Minecraft launcher basically, which is your account and you will be able to play it. As you can see, like I'm logged in with my actual uh, Minecraft account and that's why it's able to do this. Uh, another thing is most of these mods are usually big mod packs. So if your computer keeps crashing and a lot of other difficulties, it's either some kind of failure in downloading, but if you've tried multiple times, it's definitely because your computer can't handle it or some kind of system issue that like you probably can't fix unless you get like a professional. Um, but if you have other minor issues, I definitely would suggest um, commenting it below because many people love to help in the comment section and that's a great plus. Now I like how it has this FDB uh, kind of logo down here. It's kind of dope. Um, I am just going through my actual old mod pack and seeing what it has because it's kind of dope, especially with the vein miner. You can't forget vein miner and morph. That's really fun. <laughs> YouTuber Dane Soccer two five four. All right, this should be almost loaded. It's going through it. Uh, almost there. Also, if you guys didn't know, I do have a series on all the mods 3. So go check that out. Uh, it's doing very well. Everyone seems to like it. I hope you guys do too. And yes, I did add like a couple mods to it. Because, you know, why not? <laughs> So yeah, even a bigger computer like mine takes a good amount, but as you can see, it opened it up. Uh, this looks actually really cool. Uh, multiplayer options, stuff like that. I'll definitely turn that off. Always turn off music. Um, video settings, I would definitely keep it at like a large or normal. And then for creating new worlds, there are a lot of different options. Uh, the super flat large biomes amplify customized biomes of plenty in lost cities uh, Lost cities is actually kind of cool. It like renders up a whole like city for you So we can do that and kind of see what it looks like if you guys are interested in that If not, I would recommend biomes of plenty if you don't like that mod which adds just like a lot of new biomes I'll just go with this regular minecraft and then from there you can just enjoy all the crazy mods that are added in the mod pack So yeah, I think it's going to try to like render the whole city, <laughs> basically. Let's see how fast it can load it up. And that's not that bad. Alright, that's pretty good. The one pro read me. So I have, I start off with something. I think this is, okay. I don't know what that is. But yeah, as you can see, there's just giant like old left out buildings and um. Uh, you definitely have to like turn down settings and stuff. Sometimes like you don't need fancy clouds and stuff like that. Brightness, uh, smooth lightning, lighting. So as you can see, there's monsters in here. I can definitely hear them. There's bees. Uh, there's other items. So YOLO. Let's just run up the tower and see what what happens. What gives. So a cool, I, I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm still alive, surprisingly. <laughs> I 
Just climbing to the very top. Let's see what items we can find. Where are the chests? Where are the goods? There's a pig! No! The pig is bacon! He is dead. He is dead. So yeah, this is like a good view of the city. Like this is what you're gonna get guys with uh getting lost cities. So it's just like a bunch of buildings filled with I think spawners. And like it's kinda dope. So yeah, if you guys are interested, please go check that out. Uh subscribe to my channel if this is useful. And other than that, uh let me know uh any questions you have, comment below about the mod pack I could possibly make. Make sure to hit that like button down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.